What's up, everybody? Your boy DeVoe here. Anyhow, I just finished running Brooklyn's uh, Prospect Park, the gorgeous Prospect Park. And while I was out there, I had an opportunity to see a lot of the birds and the animals and the wildlife. And I was reminded uh, of nature a little bit. It was great to be out there. But it occurred to me, animals are the spirits of the world. I'm not talking about stories of, you know, fairy tales of elves and fairies and stuff like this. I'm talking about real breathing things. As I'm out in the park trying to breathe and get my lungs going, I'm looking at the trees that are the lungs of our community. And even my meditation this morning, which was less than ideal because I'm out of practice. But, uh, you know, everything we can do to breathe. And I'm looking at these wonderful little birds and, 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 and plant life and squirrels. And I realized every time a bird, a flock of birds, sticks their beak into the ground to, to pull out worms, they're also aerating the soil. Or every time squirrels run past uh, some plant life or some flowers, they're actually cross-pollinating the plant life. And all of these things cause and allow the world to breathe and respirate. And so the earth altogether needs to breathe. And so this is a shout out to my friends, uh, Makua Ray and Jalal Tarazi, who are not leaving the work to the Lorax, uh, but are really taking care of the world and doing the work that cares for the world. A, a shout out especially to Jalal Tarazi, who just got married. Uh, he's an ecologist, friend of mine, and one of the, essentially the reason I was able to go to Thailand and Cambodia recently, the reason I went at all. Um, and it turned out to be a marvelous experience. So big shout out to the ecologists. Everyone else, keep caring for each other and the world. Let's breathe.